a new easy effortless KG M40 class that's gonna bring you a lot of fun, and trust me, it's definitely gonna make enemy players a little bit salty. Ladies and gents, my name is Xander, aka Diasign, and this video it's all about the KG M40. And this is a brand spanking new assault rifle that just came out in this season, and I believe it's unlocked to level 15 in the season pass. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close to that. But that being said, how is this thing gonna really work? Well, let's find out. This class setup and loadout that I'm about to show you is designed to be used in a hyper-aggressive format. And I'm using a brand new sight that I've never used before, simply because it actually works better for the overall build with the way that the weapon works and its reload mechanic. If you're asking yourself why this is the case, well, don't worry, you're going to find out the logic and reasoning behind this later in the video once we get to the actual build. But for right now, it's time to see how this thing can absolutely annihilate, decimate, and eradicate every single player in its path. And so the only thing we have to do is just to simply sit back, relax, and eviscerate that like button for the YouTube algorithm, and let's jump right into the video. Alright, DS there, so here we go. We're using this wonderful and beautiful MG, uh, or MK420. Oh gosh, I forgot the name of it already. Anyways, um, that being said, this is going to be a fantastic weapon, and we're playing on Dome. I love this match, where uh, I love this overall build, or... <laughs> I can't speak today. Um, okay. Yeah, there he is. Just walked right in front of me. What a hooligan. That guy. What is that guy doing? I have no idea. He just stood there. I'm like, okay, what's up, bro? That's all right with me. I don't mind. I'll take those for... Oh, you little sneaky munchkin. But you know what? Okay, teammate, don't just... There we go. Got him on that one. That's what's up. Payback. Uh-huh. Got that guy right there. What's up? How you doing? Oh, melee. Ooh, melee, baby, with that triple kill. That's three of them down. Ooh, I almost got the fourth. Not quite. Okay. Calling that UAV right now. There we go. Okay. I like it. I like it. Oh, melee. No. He was too far away or I was too far away. I couldn't melee him fast enough. So, uh, I, I'm going to see if they're going to be on the top of the other side. I bet you that they are. Oh, they're going to be in center here as well. Come around the corner. Yep. There he is. There we go. That's one. I just saw this next guy on the outside here. Nice. The dumb teammate got him. Good job. That guy right there. Okay. He's going to be over here. Up top. Got him. Let's go. I like that. Uh huh. Oh, teammate, you scared the living crap out of me. Does he have a flamethrower? Yo, how does he already have a flamethrower? Is he just, like, kicking butt? Or did he get it from, like, like, a care package or something? Man, that guy's doing some work. Can I get that guy? Yes, I can. Let's go. Uh-huh. Oh, no, run away from the grenade. Oh, my gosh. That grenade. If I had to run away from that grenade right there, I would have had that guy, too. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, here we go. Let's go. It's a nice little kill there. I'll take that one, too. Guy got on the outside. There he is. Uh-huh. Thank you. I think he's at top. Yep, uh-huh. I thought I saw him there, too. What's up, bruh? How you doing? Uh-huh. Give me those freaking plays, baby. Okay, what else we got? We got some more guys over here on the UAV coming from here. Uh-huh. Maybe they're going to be our top. I'm not really sure exactly where they are anymore. There you mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. There's a second one. Bingo. Okay. Unless they... No. Okay, there's one. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, teammate. Oh, gosh. No, no. I'm too weak. I'm too weak. Now I'll jump back out. There he is. Did you jump in? No, there was a sec... There was two of them. I thought... Man, the second guy I got, I thought for sure I was going to have him back again from a different angle, but I didn't. Hooligan, Xander, hooligan. That was a mistake on your end, but that's okay. But we got a couple guys here on the outside. Oh, I just... I, was he up top there? Okay, there's that guy. No, die. Thank you. Die. Yes, please. Oh, the lag. And we got the shit. Oh, and we still got him. Yes, please. Okay. No, no. <laughs> I was reloading. And I am so glitchy. It's like, oh my gosh, bruh. Gotta take, take a chill pill. Right there, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nope, top. Mm -hmm. Please don't die. Ah! Oh my gosh, what is going on? What is going on? No! <laughs> Every time, that's the one downside of this build. Even though I have some increasing perks for, 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 for that reload speed, man, it's, I, just, I, I still can't get the reload, that fast enough reload speed, even though that guy was like a little jumping rabbit. Okay, come on, come on, come on. There he's the top. We, oh my gosh, we still got him, bruh. And this guy just he spawned. <laughs> Yeah, you know he's salty. Oh, no way. No way. No! No! <laughs> That's like the fourth time I died due to my freaking reload speed. Oh my gosh, man. Ah! I'm looking for these guys right now. There he is right there. On the outside. I just saw on the outside. I'm gonna see if I can get... Oh, he's just spawned! No, I shot you, bro! Oh, that's some hooligan stuff right there. I definitely had that guy. That's okay, though. Um, I'm gonna see if I can't keep going to the outside. Come on, come on, come on. Most we got. There's a guy in center. Nicely done. Oh, okay. So from when that guy joined in, not too shabby. 31 and 15. I'll take that for a nice little 2.0. Just a little bit above that. But 
you can really, really tell like what I was saying from before. This build was designed to have that very good consistency, very good accuracy, and very good recoil control all at the same time. Now, the one downside is that, yes, you are going to have a despicable reload speed, but on a different map that, that, that's not quite as small as this one, you'll definitely be able to account for that by going to a nice little cubby here or there when, you're, when your reload is actually, or when your magazine's low in general, and then take care of that. So, overall, not too shabby, and we're going to see that exact same build that I've got that makes this thing so pristine and gorgeous this very second. Without any further delay, let's inspect this beauty. And so as we do so, we're going to see that on the KGM-40, the number one thing that I've got is the MX silencer. And why do I like this? Because it's going to increase, number one, my sound suppression, as well as my overall accuracy at the cost of negative one aim down sight time. Now, even though I don't like that, the alternative is much, much worse. And that's because this thing right here, excuse me, is the, is the Mercury silencer, and it's going to take away from the damage range. We never, ever want that, as that's going to make the weapon that much less effective at those mid and cross out distances. Next up is then going to be the barrel, and here we happen to have the Krosnik 700mm barrel. And this thing you definitely want because it's going to be the most accurate and controllable, as well as over having the reduced weapon sway. These things are essential, especially for landing critical headshots, as you saw in that last game footage. I was landing so many crits, and it was glorious. So definitely use this barrel. After this, there's then the optic, and usually you're going to see something very, very different. I actually like to use this one instead, which is a slight reflector. But the reason why I'm not doing this is because look at where it is right there on, on the screen. The slight reflector is actually lower on the barrel itself, whereas the MK3 reflector is higher on the barrel. And so what this is then going to do is that when you're running with the weapon, the magazine on the left is actually going to be up or down when you're running, depending upon the sight that you have. The higher the sight is, when you're running once again, the magazine is going to be up or, or lower on the screen. And so you're going to have a better peripheral vision the higher that the sight is up. Same thing is also true for when you're aiming down sights. So that's very, very important to have your peripheral vision. And this MK3 reflector is going to give you that because it's going to move the overall magazine size down on the screen, giving you a lot better views. Next up is going to be the stock. And this one we're using the VDD-22G padded. Why do I like it? Because it's going to increase my sprint to fire time at the cost of a little bit of initial accuracy and recoil. Now, this thing is a little bit sluggish in that it's faster aim down sight time really isn't that great. So we're going to try and get some perks here to increase either number one ADS speed or sprint to fire speed. And that's exactly what this perk does. Next up, we then got the, what? The slate or the slide of hand, excuse me. And that is going to be for the proficiency perk, increasing the reload speed. And we're going to see here in just a couple of seconds that the overall magazine, this one right here, is going to actually decrease the reload speed. That's why you want to compensate for that with this one right here, slide of hand on the proficiency slot. And doing this is then going to be the fast melee. I found that this is by all means the most effective one here because in the hyper-aggressive playstyle that we all usually have, you want to be able to catch someone off guard very, very quickly with that throwing knife, getting that instantaneous melee kill. And that's exactly what this is going to do. I like to have that little bit of a faster overall melee speed, potentially winning the engagement in contrast to the other guy who isn't using this overall perk. Next up is then going to be the rear grip, aka the fabric grip. And what's this going to increase? You guessed it, sprint to fire speed, as well as the overall aim down sight speed at the cost of accuracy. Again, the accuracy I'm not too worried about because this thing is already a laser beam with the other perks that we discussed, and so you really don't gotta worry about that downside here in the slightest. Ensuing this is then gonna be that magazine like I said from before, and what do you know, this thing is going to increase the magazine ammo capacity by plus two, amazing, but the downside is once again, a little bit of the aim down sight time, a little bit of the reload speed, and a little bit of the movement speed, all in negatives. After this, we then have to have the ammo type and that is lengthened. And the one that I like to use is because this is going to increase that bullet velocity by plus three, allowing us to once again get players not just in close, mid, but definitely across that distances much more easily because my bullets are going to travel faster than theirs, and that's a win-win. Finally, we then have our very, very last perk, and that is the underbarrel perk, known as the M3 Ready Grip. And why do I like this again? Because it's going to, as always, increase that sprint to fire time, increase the overall aim down sight time at the cost of negative one recoil. Again, not worried about that because the other perk compensate for this beautifully. And so this thing is going to be a critical hitting monster, meaning so many headshots that you and I are going to lose count. And it's a beautiful thing. So having said all this fluffy cabbage fresh shenanigans, let me know what you guys think about the build overall down in the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you not? Are you going to use something different? And if so, then let me know down as well. Because no matter what you guys say, you always know that I'm going to respect your opinions, and that is something that I can guarantee. That's much all I've got for you for now, Dia Slayers. And so, as always, GG TNT.